What is going on everybody? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about some Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now, you guys know that Star Wars Battlefront, the first game, um, it came out 2015. That game was a massive letdown. And you also may know that I'm a huge, huge Star Wars fan, okay? I am... I... I am very... I was very skeptical once I heard a Star Wars Battlefront 2, and, and, and I just, I had flashbacks, or I had instant flashbacks to what was Star Wars Battlefront 1. Now the game, like I said, it was a letdown, it lacked a whole lot of content, it was just a giant mess. And once I heard Star Wars Battlefront 2, I was like, oh god, are they gonna do this again? Now, I was a big fan of the original uh, 2, Star Wars Battlefront 1 and Star Wars Battlefront 2. I played the crap out of those games, and now we have leaked footage of Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now, I'm going to play the trailer right here, and as I play through it, we're going to talk about everything that's on screen. So, now, I, and also, I'm kind of skeptical. I don't want to put any of the actual footage on my channel, because this is leaked, and the last thing I need is a copyright strike, so we're going to play this safe. So, let's go ahead, dial things back, and we're going to start off with the trailer. Now, at first, I was like, okay, no, this is too good to be true. This isn't This isn't Star Wars Battlefront 2. This could be something else. But once I seen the PlayStation logo at the beginning, and which still could be kind of skeptical, I, once I seen everything that's going on in this trailer, I'm like, okay, wait a minute. No, this is actually real, okay? This is an actual, legitimate trailer. This is leaked footage. So, Let's go ahead and just hop right into this. So, Star Wars Battlefront 2 2017 leaked trailer. Link will be in the description down below. So, let's go ahead and dive right into it. Okay, so this first shot, it says game engine footage. All right, we have a Imperial ship, which looks so badass. We have Imperial TIE Fighters and all that. Let's go ahead and just keep going. It looks really nice, though, so far. And now, the main protagonist, which is a woman, which I am so happy about, she says, I remember, I still remember my last orders. And what you have right here in this first shot is, it looks like some Imperial, um, they're, they're Imperial soldiers, but they look like pilots, Imperial pilots. And they're on what looks like to be the the uh the forest moon of the forest moon of endor and from what i can see this is going to take place as soon as return of the jedi ends it's almost kind of similar to what rogue one did except this is taking place as soon as return of the jedi ends but instead of playing you know instead of playing from the Rebels and Luke's perspective, you're now playing from the Empire's perspective and what we see right here is death star just exploding blowing up and we, oh, whoops, let me go back. And we get our first shot of our main protagonist, which is a woman. Now, there is so much controversy behind woman leads. We had a woman in um, um, Force Awakens. Now, we have one in Rogue One. And now, we have one in Battlefront 2. I'm not going to get into it. It's just a bunch of pussies being mad. I don't care. Fuck them. I'm hype. Let's go. It's a woman. She's actually relative, relatively attractive, too. But, yeah, we get our first shot of her. Now, one thing um, to mention, one thing to note was that I forgot exactly this rule, but uh, stormtroopers are not supposed to take their helmets off unless, um, I forgot what that, that, that specific rule was of the Empire. But, yeah, she has her, her helmet off, which kind of leads me to believe maybe she's, like, the field commander, and she just kind of has, she can do that. But I'm not too sure, but this is our first shot of her, and she... She really, like, really totally attractive. Uh, she has really big eyes, though. I, that, and that was a problem with uh, Jin in Star Wars Battlefront 1. They gave her some unbelievably huge eyes. I don't know why. That was so weird. And it says the day the real war began. Now, you can see like an Imperial TIE fighter going through what looks like a looks like a whole bunch of rubble. Now, to me, this looks like it could be the remains of the Death Star plus some other Imperial ships. I'm not too sure. All the same looks beautiful. Now, we get the untold soldier story, which leads me to believe that the, the entire campaign is going to go through this one soldier story. We don't know her name yet, but she's going to be the main protagonist. Can't wait. Um, and yeah, you know, I was kind of skeptical at first because I thought that this game was going to take the route of battle, Battlefield 1, where you kind of play, play through war stories throughout the Star Wars universe. But that doesn't seem to be the case, at least from what I can see so far. All right, right here we just see a bunch of a bunch of space battles. It's it's kind of cool, but let's just keep it going. 
Oh, one thing to note, I, I don't want to skimp off on this. All right, it's, she says, avenge our emperor. Now, the thing to note here is that we're right on this shot at 13 seconds, we, we're at Star Killer base. So, I think what we're going to see is the end of the empire, like the, like the campaign is going to show the end of the empire to the rise of the first order, which, oh God, it's going to be amazing. But you, you, so many, uh, there, there's so many TIE fighters, it's insane. It says fight multiplayer battles. Obviously, it's going to be a multiplayer game. And I'm not really sure what this shot is in 15 seconds. I mean, you can see a, tr a red tree or a tree with red leaves. You have Imperial soldiers moving, advancing onto something. You have an ATAT, -AT, obviously. I'm not really sure what this is, but it, you know, it, it's, it's just here, I guess. It is what it is. It looks kind of cool, though, all the same. You have the Tauntauns from uh, Hoth at 17 seconds which looks pretty cool uh I, I like that we're getting um actual animals to ride on which i guess they're obviously taking from battlefield one where you can ride a horse which is really cool i like that i hope it the i hope that all still works the same across all eras now this is something we have been waiting for like i mentioned in the, in the beginning of this video battlefront one lacked content now this game can do well if like and i, I always said i'm like man i don't know why star wars battlefront one did not include all eras all eras meaning we're gonna get the clone wars okay we are finally getting the clone wars so they they have a lot of room to play with so we're getting the clone wars we're getting the uh the galactic civil war and we're also getting the first order oh my god this game could have so much content but it's ea I, I can't be too hype but so far this looks good we're getting confirmation though that we are getting the clone wars which means we can get anakin skywalker obi-wan kenobi mace windu as heroes oh god man it's it's it, the possibilities man and, and this shot right here at 19 seconds, we got Darth Maul. And this is, from what I can see right here, this is on Naboo where he fought Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon Jinn. And uh, if, we, if you keep it going, at um, 20 seconds, we have Yoda. So there's no reason we cannot get Obi-Wan, Kenobi, and Mace Windu. We have Yoda right here. And, oh, God, this, oh, my goodness, it looks beautiful. And also, right here, if I pause, oh, let me, let me try to get a better shot so I can see her better. If you pause at 20 seconds, you see Rey running through a battlefield. Oh, my goodness. See, so we, we have confirmation that Rey is in the game. Darth Maul, Yoda. Uh, we keep it going. And if you pause at 22 seconds, you got your boy Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren has been, it's pretty much he's confirmed. He, he's in the game at this point. And I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad this game, I hope they're not pulling any punches. They're giving us all the content that we need. Let this be the game Star Wars Battlefront 1 should have been. And it just, it oh, it looks amazing. And then... That's the end of the trailer. It's like a 20 second leaked trailer, which this looks like a legitimate leaked, like a, a full on leaked trailer. Cause this is pretty much similar to what Star Wars Battlefront 1 did back in 2014, I believe. So, I mean, if they're planning to reveal this, someone is probably gonna get fired because the entire trailer legitimately just got leaked, you know, a whole day uh, ahead of time. Because usually something leaked would just have screenshots, but no, the whole trailer just got leaked. So, Someone over there, uh, someone, someone's effing up, okay? Someone is really effing up because the whole trailer just got leaked. Usually, a whole trailer usually may get leaked, but it's never on YouTube, and this trailer is everywhere, okay? But anyways, um, at the end of the trailer, 23 seconds, um, it says, pre-order to get Star Wars The Last Jedi Heroes. I'm gonna let you guys know this right now. Don't pre-order this game, okay? Do not give EA your money. Don't do this. The game is not out yet. Do not fall for this trap because... I'm going to let you know right now, there are certain companies you pre-order from. There are certain companies that you don't pre-order from. You can pre-order from Naughty Dog. You can pre-order from CD Projekt Red, from Software. There's so many other, so many developers you can pre-order from, but do not pre-order from EA. They will, no, don't do this dice. Whoever is behind this game, don't fall for it because what they what the, pre-ordering does is pretty much you give the developers money before they can finish the game and that gives them no incentive to finish the game so don't pre-order this game and they say pre-order to get the star wars the last jedi heroes so pretty much they're gonna give you um whatever heroes that are in the last jedi which is probably going to be finn ray and uh luke and probably some more that we may or may not know about but 
they're going to be in the game. They're just telling you to pre-order so you can so they can just make you believe that you're going to get this early when in reality it's going to be in the base game. You don't need to pre-order to get them, okay? You don't need to do that at all. So don't pre-order the game, but pretty much right here, yeah, you got Darth Maul, you got Rey, and you got you got some kind of um Imperial pilot trooper. Um not really sure his significance, but we have Rey. I'm hyped to play Rey, and we also have uh Darth Maul. So yeah, man, it looks great. Um, wow, I, it, it, it just looks good, I, I'm, I'm, I'm ready, I, I really am ready, um, it, this, this game just, wow, man, this is what I've been waiting for, this is something that is near and dear to my heart, Star Wars, I love me some Star Wars, and we're finally getting it again, and I hope that it's gonna be good, so, the, and you know, that's crazy, because the main problem with the last game was content, this game looks like it has content, but, we're gonna have to wait and see, the Star Wars celebration is, tomorrow as i'm making this video so we're, we're just gonna see what happens i mean the, the reveal trailer is pretty much here so i mean i don't know what else they're gonna really show and i think we're also gonna get some more footage from the visceral games star wars games so yeah but that's it for this uh trailer it's um is there anything left of the trailer um no, it just says the force is strong with PlayStation. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's it for this video. Um, Star Wars Battlefront 2 2017. I can't wait. I, I mean, I'm not gonna buy this game day one. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna observe what's what's you know what's happening in the gaming community. I'm gonna see what is gonna be shown. I'm gonna see what the community says about the game before I decide to plunge into it because I'm not gonna. They're not gonna get me like they got me back in Star Wars Battlefront One. They're not gonna get me like they got me then. It's just not gonna happen. But that's it for this video. Let me know what you think about Star Wars Battlefront 2. Be the trailer pretty much being leaked a whole I, I what was it like five days ahead of time? I think it was because I'm a little bit late to this. From what I've seen, this has been on the internet for a long time, but it is what it is. Let me know what you think about this and I'll catch you guys in the next video. So again, let me know what you think about the leaked footage and let me know what you think about Star Wars Battlefront 2 and also The Last Jedi. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, have a great day.